are just waiting for my mum because she is coming to watch the girls today and also take them to their swimming lesson. But Natalie and I came into our bed um, early, early this morning, late last night, and um, she had a runny nose. She had a runny nose last night, but this morning she's a lot more congested. So I'm gonna see how she goes waking up. Normally, when I get up, she's like up like that, but she's asleep on the wall side of the bed, um, like literally knocked out. So I don't know if she is gonna go do swimming today. Um, she's just, I don't know, I just don't think she's feeling too good. So yeah, last night I did the girls' um, bags. Well, I prepared them the night before anyways. Ivy's just gone over there because she's going to go watch TV. Um, we have a few things going on. Um, Mum's taking the girls because I have a OPAC appointment today and just like a regular checkup appointment at 9.50 and 10.30. So um, that's going to be very exciting. I am super scared but I'm so excited because I know that this part of my pregnancy when I have this big like meeting um, not long after I have a baby so it's like super close I am also 36 weeks so that's like 36 and 1 but um, yeah she is just super big right now the last two days I just cannot do as much I feel like um, Normally at the end of every night, if there's any washing that needs to be done, dishes, mopping, I literally mop every night and vacuum before I go to sleep because when I wake up, the house is super clean. I don't have to worry about it. Um, but yeah, I'm just struggling a little bit to do certain things. So Will did it all for me last night and I just sat in bed and relaxed while he did that and looked after the kids. But yeah, I thought I'd vlog, so you guys going to come with me. Alright, so this is my belly before I get changed at 36 weeks and she's honestly going to be here in like a fortnight. So crazy and I'm definitely going to miss this so I'm going to try and film as many like bump shots like this um, and I also have my maternity coming up on the weekend so quite excited for that as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get changed because mum will be here any second. Girls, I'm going. Bye, Anyways, it's 9.35 and I believe my appointment isn't until 9.50 and then I have my OPAC appointment at... 10. OPAC appointment is just basically where they're going to sit down with me um, and discuss on how the operation is going to go from like start to finish and like obviously operation delivery but it is a major surgery. Um, the recovery like just go over a few things obviously I already know how it's going to go because this is my fourth baby but um, a few things have changed since Natalina. So I'm going to head up now uh, because it normally gets really packed around this time of day in the outpatient and um, yeah, I don't want to be late but if I get into my OPAC before my doctor appointment, it's fine because it's literally just across the way from her office. Next time I come to the hospital, I'll have a newborn but um, yeah, I'm going to go and start walking down because it's a little bit of a walk. The rain has stopped and yeah, I'll tell you guys how everything goes or um, I'll fill you guys in on everything when I come back. Hi. Hello. You're having snacks. Just finished my appointment. Um, I just got on the phone with mum and I was in a bit of a mood because normally we go get lollies after like a swimming lesson but I packed them snacks so um yeah she's just gonna have to like be in a staunch mood but anyways my appointment went really well I saw my doctor before my OPAC um and then yeah I got my 
instructions. It's a little bit different with um, the delivery and surgery process. So I'm going to talk to you guys a bit about it later because right now I'm going to go to my nonna's before I head to my friend's house and drop off her Bissell cleaner that I borrowed for the baby shots. It's been a long time. The girls are with mum and I'll pick them up later. I'm just going to call Wall and just fill them in on everything. Fill you guys in later. Got home about 20 minutes ago. Um, both girls are in their own designated areas right now. Natalina just has a snuffy nose. So she's in my room watching um, Rapunzel. And Ava is over here in the main lounge room watching Tinkerbell. Um, they are both pretty exhausted from the early morning they've had. Ava had swimming. Natalina and I have just rescheduled um, for her to do a makeup lesson next week. But overall, they had a really good day. I quickly went over um, my cesarean fasting guidelines, which is like the paperwork that they've given me. So um, yeah, I've read that and I've also read this piece of paper, which kind of tells you what to bring for baby, um, what to bring for yourself. Just obviously when you leave the hospital, they check that the capsule or baby seat is incorrectly before they discharge us. I also need to go get bloods done a day before my surgery. Um, I guess they just want to cross-reference my blood type and everything like that. Um, and then, yeah, this is just a little pamphlet I received on what every day um, is going to look like for me and baby girl and kind of an idea schedule this is all pretty straightforward um and then they just gave me a pre-op um lemon flavored drink which i need to take um an hour before going into um surgery so yeah that's everything that I received. Caught up on that. I'm just gonna eat my toast and have a drink. I'm probably gonna have a nap to be honest with you. And I am going to be filming tomorrow because um, we are gonna see baby girl for the first time since I think the last time I had this 3D, 4D scan was at 16 weeks or something when we found out the gender because they got the gender mixed up. I know, like it was just a crazy time. I'm gonna film tomorrow as well. So if you don't see any more of me, um, you'll definitely see me tomorrow. We did have an appointment, um, a 3D appointment last week, but she was pushed up like this against my placenta. Um, we got to see a little bit of her, like her, like this part of her face. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed we can see her tomorrow because um, yeah, I really don't have <laughs> any more time to reschedule another 3D um, appointment to see her because I am flat out for the next two weeks before this baby comes. We have birthdays. Um, my birthday, oh my gosh, is like next week. It's just all happening, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm super excited and I hope we can see her tomorrow. 37 and 7. So I would get in this little bump shot. I feel like I have dropped so much. Um, I feel massive. And to be honest, I actually feel pregnant. I've always said that I don't feel pregnant. I think because this pregnancy has just gone so fast. But yeah, this is baby girl. And I'll be 38 weeks tomorrow. And then she'll be here in under a week. Woo. Good morning, guys. We are officially out of lockdown as of today. It is Wednesday the 28th. And me and the girls have been up super early because why not? Like, look at this weather. The sun is out. The sun is shining. So we're going to get out and do as much as we can today. So we're going to go visit my nonna. Um, I'm going to go visit Wall's older sister as well. Sometime this morning, I'm just waiting for her to reply to me because she's going to work later. And then um, me and the girls are just going to go out and about maybe to the beach. I don't know. I just kind of want to do everything and anything today. I am extending this vlog from the last clip. So we're meant to go have that 3D scan that next Saturday after my appointment. But I ended up rescheduling. And then when I rescheduled, it was for the next Wednesday. And then that's when uh, we went into lockdown was the following 
Tuesday. It's meant to be my rescheduled schedule 3D appointment, but I'm actually not going to go ahead with it. I'm just going to ring her and cancel. Um, as much as I wanted these images, this is like the third time I've had to like reschedule just because she wasn't in the right position or like we went into lockdown and there's literally a couple days until I give birth to this little one. So I'm just thinking that we just don't get 3D scans this baby. We've only seen her nose and her lips like literally this far down. We have all of the other kids done in 3D. So she's going to be the only one that we don't have photos of. But um, I don't know if you guys have seen. We have the kids on our um, fridge. So we have a few of their um, scans and whatnot on there. But with her... There hasn't been that many scans to be honest with you so she's just going to be anonymous and we'll get a little surprise on who she looks like i personally think all the kids look like wool um but she has beautiful beautiful big lips like wool um but yeah anyways we're gonna go and i'm just gonna extend this vlog we just got to nona's house yeah. um it feels like forever since i've seen nona she's like literally my best friend I swear to God. so um yeah we said that we would um come here and then if Nuno comes after us we would stay for a bit but he just got here so we are all gonna go to Willow Blend which is a coffee shop here in Adelaide obviously thanks the best coffee everything is roasted himself just across the road is his wife's business like that is literally husband and wife goals right there like she runs the boutique which I'm wearing her skirt at the moment it's from Azali boutique I'm pretty sure a few of you guys know um, I buy a few of my things there so yeah we're gonna go there on Queen Street and just have a look around I'm kind of hungry as well so I don't know if I'll get um something here and take it or we'll just go there and wrap it up but yeah nono's like giving me this hand signal so i'm gonna go see are you right Tolly? Yeah. are you okay <laughs> <laughs> nono's giving me hand signals so i'm gonna go see what she wants <laughs> All right, it's currently three o'clock and we've just gone to wall's sister's house so i thought i'd just like check in and tell you guys what we've been doing so after we went to queen street and me and nona had a coffee the girls had um a velvet red velvet cupcake that um benny gave them if you guys don't follow me on instagram it's like all linked below but i put a boomerang of us at the cafe drinking like coffee and whatnot um we went back to nona's and she cooked us some pasta for lunch and then the leftover pasta which there was quite a lot um i went and dropped off um for lunch for wool and now we're at his sister's house so we're probably going to be here for a little bit and then i am going to go home and start some dinner but i don't know what we're gonna have to be honest with you the girl's kicks have been so painful as much as i love her kicking i don't know why but the past couple of hours have just been excruciating um she's like kicking my rim she's kicking like down um and it really feels like my water is gonna break because like just how strong her kicks are um i think it's because she was trying to get into like a comfy position because she has stopped now but um yeah the last couple hours i've just been in like a little bit of pain we're gonna go in and yeah we're just gonna stay here for a little bit i think that's her now yeah so she just said she's picking the kids up from school so she'll be here shortly but in the meantime we're gonna go in you are so cute good morning what do you, who do you have here babies your babies yeah guys ollie ella gifted these babies oh sorry darling gifted these babies to the girls yeah. this one's natalina's yeah. which one's ava's the pink one and this one is for baby sissy yeah <laughs> baby sissy just launched yesterday um, but yeah, like I said, they were kindly gifted to us, um, a few weeks ago. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to grab one of these a cute, adorable, floppy babies, they are on Ollie Ella's site on Instagram. That's where you can find them. Uh, there is another one, um, Moppet, I believe her name is. She's a purple one. So they do have four, but, um, yeah, these are the most cutest things. 
ever. Super early in the morning, so I'm about to get the girls changed. You know, the drill, I get the girls changed before myself. Um, I literally take two seconds with the girls take a little bit more time depending on how the morning is going but this morning they've woken up in a really good mood uh, but, but yeah I'm super excited because today we are picking up our pram like finally it's literally taken under a week um, before baby girl's arrival for the pram to come but it's finally here so I just need to wait for um, an email I'm gonna go and get us ready before like I waste any more time rambling behind the camera we are ready to go I don't know what this is or like what's happening here but it's like doing my life in with that piece of baby hair but anyways i have 38 weeks today this is baby girl actually i might just show you my full outfit of the day my little o otd all right 38 weeks exactly here she is crazy this is my little outfit. So I've just got this black dress with a little slit on the side. It's from Ali. I'm pretty sure Ali Fashion. Um, the long cardigan, the grey one. Mum actually got it for me from Maya from her work. And then just shoes. I've just got some plain black and white runners because I am going to be on my feet today. We're going to go get to the pram now, so I'm super excited. This is a little miss. Just the one box? Yep, yep, someone there. It's uh, reasonably heavy as well. Like, uh, oh. So that has the pram and the... Everything's in it, yeah, so it's got that and that one all in there. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, oh, easy. Yes. Oh. Scissors over here. Oh. We are now home. I've just brought in the pram. So this is a silver cross. I originally wanted the Red's baby, but I was so indecisive this entire pregnancy on what to get that, um, yeah, we ended up just going with this one, which I'm still super happy about, by the way. This does come in a seat and a bassinet. I'm not really all for bassinets. Um, I just think they take up too much space in your car. They're not really necessary, um, but who knows? This baby and this pram might change my mind on how I feel about them because I've never really had one. We do have a steel craft pram um, and a capsule that came in a bundle deal when we obviously had Leo and we used that for both of the girls and it was completely fine. But we want to add accessories onto it and they no longer make that pram because it's over seven years old. So me and we were like, all right, let's just invest in a new pram and if we have future babies, <laughs> um, we'll just use this pram going forward so I'm super freaking excited because it's finally here and they no longer stock this one anymore um, in this color and um, yeah I think this is like the last one so I'm freaking excited to like see all this
honestly it wasn't that hard. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Can you like imagine there's gonna be like a little like baby in here. So this is the Silver Cross Supreme. I love this, it's so soft. Um, but yeah, it's like in this burgundy color. It was the only one that I basically like because it's like all black. So yeah, it has some storage down here. And then that's the bassinet, which I just have to like put together and assemble it. But um, yeah, overall, I bloody love it. Yeah. I'll make a sandwich, I'm in. hours now and I just went and had a shower um, Ava made her and Natalina some sandwiches I'm just eating some leftover pizza and just having a cup of tea but after putting the pram together I don't know why but my heart just started racing really fast and then I was just getting like flushes and just felt really hot and I was like out of breath so I went and sat down in the room I tried to have like a little bit of a nap but it just felt really hot and like I don't know like I just didn't want any clothing on me so I just went and had a really cold shower um because that's like how hot I was I just went in and stood under the shower for a good like half an hour or so and it's like calmed me down but it was just the weirdest thing ever. I just felt so overwhelmed with like, I don't even know how to describe it. I just felt like overwhelmed. Like my body just couldn't cope with whatever was happening. So yeah, I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit and put the camera down and just spend some time with the kids. But I might pick the camera up a little bit later. Um, probably get like Will's reaction to the pram because like he hasn't seen it like put together besides at the shops just like it's a different reaction from when you see something in the shops to when it's like physically in your house like you know that wow like your baby is going to be in this pram um so like visualizing in that so i'm just might get his reaction um later when he comes home but for now i'm just gonna just take it super easy it's so nice hey Thank <laughs> you. 